Russia's top court has ruled that LGBTQ activists should be designated as extremists. Representatives of gay and transgender people fear Thursday's ruling will lead to the arrest and prosecution of those who speak out for the community. A Reuters reporter at the Supreme Court heard it announce the approval of a justice ministry request to recognise what it called the international LGBT social movement as extremist and to ban its activities. Activists like Alexei Sergeyev, who spoke to Reuters on Saturday, saw the decision as inevitable. He says the ruling will deprive many LGBTQ people of support. Many activities are aimed at supporting the community. It is psychological assistance, it is legal assistance, protecting people. It is some kind of meetings where you can just sit and drink tea. This will all be so underground that I am sure that, unfortunately, there are many people who will not be able to get help. They will either commit suicide or simply be in some terrible state. Their life will be shortened and their health will deteriorate. They will drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes more, and so on, somehow trying to escape from this reality. The move is part of a pattern of increasingly restrictive measures in Russia on expressions of sexual orientation and gender identity. They include laws banning the promotion of non-traditional sexual relations and bans on legal or medical changes of gender. President Vladimir Putin, with support from the Orthodox Church, has long sought to project Russia as a guardian of traditional morality. It's a contrast to the Western societies he portrays as decadent in their tolerance of gay parades and acceptance of dozens of genders. More than a hundred groups are already banned in Russia as extremist. Previous listings, including the Jehovah's Witnesses religious movement and organizations linked to opposition politician Alexei Navalny, have served as a prelude to arrest. We call on the Russian authorities to immediately repeal this law um, and other laws that infringe upon the rights uh, of LGBT people or the rights of people who are advocating for uh, human rights across the board. Um, we are worried that this law could effectively criminalize any advocacy relating to the rights of uh, people of a different sexual orientation. Um, and peaceful advocacy must never be criminalized. Discrimination, violence or exclusion or stigmatization of one sector of society is corrosive for all of society. What this means for the LGBT community is its further repression of their fundamental rights. Uh, we've already seen the banning of so-called gay propaganda um, in Russia, and now um, any advocacy um, in favor of the rights of, of people who have a certain sexual orientation has effectively been criminalized. <laughs> It's also very unclear what is defined as um, international LGBT movement. Um, so it also leaves the, the law open to abuse. Um, it leaves it open to a lot of uncertainty for people on what could land them in jail and what is permissible. Um, not only the High Commissioner, but various UN human rights mechanisms have also interacted uh, with the Russian authorities on this. Unfortunately, the situation is just going from bad to worse, um, and we are getting reports uh, that this is severely affecting people's ability um, to access services, people's ability to be able to advocate. 
Now, this is not just about sexual orientation, as in what people do in their private lives in their bedroom. This is about the right to access health care. This is about the right to employment. It's about the right to many fundamental human rights that will now be scuppered because people will effectively have to go into hiding. Для их же безопасности, а вдруг они друг друга порезают. Так, не навалимся на полицию, назад два шага. We've also seen a general shrinking of civic space. Um, we've seen major media banned. Uh, we've seen civil society crackdowns. Um, we've seen the adoption of other laws uh, designating um, you know, NGOs as extremist um, and uh, as foreign agents. So unfortunately, we're seeing an overall shrinking of civic space in Russia. Я думаю, что ЛГБТ сообщество это не совсем сообщество, это просто какие-то чувства людей. Сложно запретить чувства, мне кажется. Не имею к нему никакого отношения, но не вижу смысла запрещать это. На мой взгляд, это то же самое, что запретить четверг. discrimination, violence or exclusion or stigmatization of one sector of society is corrosive for all of society. What this means for the LGBT community is its further repression of their fundamental rights. Uh, we've already seen the banning of so-called gay propaganda um, in Russia, and now um, any advocacy um, in favor of the rights of, of people who have a certain sexual orientation has effectively been criminalized. It's also very unclear what is defined as um, international LGBT movement. Um, so it also leaves the, the law open to abuse. Um, it leaves it open to a lot of uncertainty for people on what could land them in jail and what is permissible. Um, not only the High Commissioner, but various UN human rights mechanisms have also interacted uh, with the Russian authorities on this. Unfortunately, the situation is just going from bad to worse. Um, and we are getting reports uh, that this is severely affecting people's ability um, to access services, people's ability to be able to advocate. Now, this is not just about sexual orientation, as in what people do in their private lives in their bedroom. This is about the right to access health care. This is about the right to employment. It's about the right to many fundamental human rights that will now be scuppered because people will effectively have to go into hiding. <laughs> 